Hi there, it's Ashbeer from In-House Solutions with Mastercam series videos on what's new in Mastercam 2025. In this video, I'm going to focus on thread milling. So they've added a bunch of new functionality to thread milling as well as revamping the interface for the thread mill toolpath. So let's get into it. So the first thing here, as you can see, they've changed uh, the look and the feel. So now let's get to the features. So the first thing, nice thing they've done is they've added the ability to uh, use a tool edge feed rate. So this figures out the feed rate to the tool edge, not the tool center. So you get more accurate feed rates based on whether you're cutting on the outside or the inside. So in this case here, it's gonna be an ID tool and the feed rate will change accordingly. Uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about here is uh, they've linked the way that this works counterclockwise to the way this is set. So if I look back now, you can see it's taken into consideration, shows you what it's going to do. It didn't do that before. So, you know, it's a handy safety thing. I'll change this back to clockwise. So I've got two ledge feed rate enabled. And then we're going to talk about the uh, leading lead out pages. Just gonna move these things out of the way. So right now it's set to gradual. So this is new as well. So if I preview my toolpath, you can see it's a gradual green entry into the part with a linear uh, lead in and a gradual out of the part with a red lead out. So this line is controlled here. Oops. And you can see it gradually creeps into the part. And you can change this as well. Um, change this back to point one. If I say 55%, right? So it comes in further away and then creeps into the part. That's what gradual does. Uh, so start at center, end at center. Some of these things are pretty standard. If I click on that, you can see now it's gonna start in the center of the hole and come all the way out again. Standard is what it was before, so start at center, end at center. So that's what that's going to do. As well as that, the ability to change the feed rate and spindle speed on the entry. Again, this has been asked for a lot, so now you can change the entry feed rate when it gets into the part. And the other option about it is to plunge after first move and retract before last move. And this is more along the lines of 2D contour, where you can turn color comp on above the part and plunge into the part for both of these things to be enabled. 